Hi, my name is Christine Jones and I am residential faculty with the English department for Glendale Community College. And today I'm going to share with you uh, one of my tips to make it easier to put captions or closed captions on YouTube videos that I use in my classes and um, make available to my students. So the first thing that I need to mention is that I use a WebEx meeting and I make it a set meeting. I do not use a personal room. Um, I actually schedule a meeting first and then I set it up to record. Once I have recorded it, so if I go into my recordings here, um, once I have recorded the activity, I will open it up and then I will double check the transcripts. One of the nice things about WebEx is that it already does the capital letters, it already does the punctuation, and every once in a while I will find a mistake, but they are very few and they're usually with specialized words. So once I have corrected those mistakes, and I'm sure that I've got all the information that I need, I will go to download. It gives me the option to download both the movie file and the transcript file. And I'm going to do both of those. Then the next thing to do is to go to the YouTube channel and upload the video. Now I'm going to go down here to more options and where it says language subtitles and closed captions, I'm going to click on upload with timing and choose that file, that VTT file that came with WebEx. Now it'll take a moment or two for it to process. And once it has been processed, You'll be able to turn on the subtitles and you can see that the subtitles come up just as you expect in YouTube. Again, this is a little bit quicker. It already has the capitalization and most of the words are correct. It already has the punctuation. So this is what I use to make it a little bit quicker. <laughs> 